Hello everyone, in this video I will show you about Laravel session. The first one is how to make login form and second is store the data in session, get the data from session, delete data from the session. Okay, so what is session? Session we use it for store the data on the server side. For example, you want to store the username and you can share it to another page another page can get the user data okay so you will clear on my project and I have an example on it so let's go the first one we make login form I go to my project here go to resource my view and I create one login dot blad dot php then I create just add some string say here is login form I create one form form sorry form and I close form I want to add input type input type text name is user sorry username and placeholder is input username and close then I copy it I create one more here. Thai is password. Name is user password. And placeholder you can put password. Okay. And then I create one button type called submit. And then I Here we call input. Sorry, login. I save it. Yeah, I just put. Copy it and pass in here. And on form, we need to put action. In here, I put the blend first. Okay, and I will complete it next. So the method I put it push. I save it. Now I create one route for this login form. We go to we go to route here web.php and we create route you here you put your url name is login and your page name is login okay you save it and i refresh my page i go to login just enter okay that's fine so the second is store data in session so i need to create one controller so php artisan make controller my controller name is user authentication so just enter it and I go to http controller click on user here and I create one function my function name is login okay. and I return some string here so in this case my function is get the data from the login form so I need to in order to get data from login, login form we need request sorry 
we need to express here and then parameter with and we return so sorry we have one parameter data equal request input okay and I want to return the data from form just data okay I save it and I create one route for this function we go to web.php again and we create route we use method post and your URL name is user I put controller user option and then class you put your function name is login okay here is my function name and don't forget you import the controller so we you use app slash a ttp slash controller slash user okay. save it and on my login form here I need to put the so it mean that when I click login it will to go to execute my function login okay and then so I need to put the URL route because when the URL route user and then we execute login okay so I copy this and then I go to my action here pass it and I save it let me test it I refresh page and I log in rota one two three click on it so read maybe something wrong okay in here we need to add the token C F O. okay so it is the uh, security so you need to put sorry save it and refresh it again refresh it but how one two three okay that's fine he is user rata and password one two three so I want to store the session I want to store the session user so let's go to my controller and in here I just put says sorry we press session then use function put here is the session name my session name is user and the value is the love data so the key is you see here is the key is username okay so here you put username username save it and then I want to return uh, session user save it okay and I refresh it sorry we go to login right one two three okay you see here we can see here is the session mean that in here we here is store the data in session so here it means we store the data in session and the session name is user here is we uh, return here is we want to show the the session now I want to show 
the session in other page so I need to create one page so I go to create profile so called profile page let that PHP in here we need some string here called profile page I save it and I move to okay sorry I just put uh, the session in here I want to show in this page so I say hi here is session so I use session name of session is user I save it and I move to here in function so we put read write so read write is profile okay so we need to create one row for this okay so profile and then I go to web.php and create one row so row you and the ul is profile and page name is profile okay so let me go to login again we log in to Rota one two three click on it okay so you can see he hides Rota in profile page okay so now I want to delete the the uh, rota the the session okay so I just make an easy example so I just go to my profile and I add some here a ref so I put lock out and here lock in I refresh I save it I refresh so it means that when I cl click on lock in it will delete the session and it go to lock in form okay so in this I need to create one route for logout so go to web.php and i create route so i just copy from this and pass here so here we call lock out and we have something we need to delete the session in here so if session have Okay, is session half? We need to delete it. So session pool. You we use function pool to for delete the session. So pool user. Okay, we need to delete session user. And then if it empty, it will return. It will rewrite to log in form. So here is the log in form. Yes. Okay. So save it. Maybe something wrong on here. Oh, okay. Sorry. Save it. Okay. So let me refresh it. I click on it. Okay. It means it delete the session and it will go to the uh, login form. So let me log in again. One, two, three. Click yes. Okay. So 
In this case, how about I just change the URL and then it will go to the login form. So, okay, it's a go. So, it is the wrong logic because we did not uh, uh, delete the session. It's, it, it did not log out yet, but it can go to the login form. So, in this case, I need to protect it. When it's still logged in, you cannot move with, you cannot redirect to the login form. Okay, you just still in the profile page. So, we need to get something, some condition on uh, login form. So, in login form, I just make a new route. Okay, it's still the same route, but I just have some condition on it. I just copy this and I you here log in so the condition is session half I will redirect return redirect I will redirect to uh so I will read right to profile okay so it means the session have it it will read right in from profile but if it empty it will return to you call login okay so I say it let me test again here's lock in sorry rota one two three click lock in okay so let me change here to the lock in form it cannot because we did not lock out yet okay so it is the right logic so that's all for my uh, presentation about session. So if you have any question, you can comment in my comment box. So thank you for watching.